a very good afternoon and welcome back to my channel this is sonal signing into my channel just underscore sonal please don't uh, uh, forget to like share and subscribe my channel and do a like because it just kind of feels good so coming back to the topic today i have chosen a topic which has affected us all in our daily lives so either we have judged somebody or we have been on the other side where we have been judged by people and when you are on the other side it hurts it's stressful you know it also kind of instills a, a certain amount of fear uh, which actually starts governing our action so i want to take these two dimensions in two separate ways and uh, let it let it up to see why people judge and what can we do so that it doesn't affect us Uh, us as much so let's focus on why people judge most of the time when they are actually uh, putting their judgment on you it's not so much about you as it is about their mental state at that point in time because uh, more often than not they are going through a certain situation in their lives and secondly it is also about their own belief system their own conditioning that has seeped into them when they are growing when they were growing up uh and also a lot of times it is that conditioning that they are governing of and also it is coming out of their own insecurity or the inadequacy that they feel about themselves so you know it is like i said it is not so much about the person that they are judging as it is about them because they are also operating out of a very lower state of consciousness or a very lower state of vibration So now let, let's look at the other side now that that we know that you know where this person is coming from let's go to the other side and and um let's figure out as to how to deal with it uh, so that it doesn't start defining you because a lot of times these judgments can actually go deeper into our layers and they very subconsciously start to define you as a person because then you start operating out of out of that fear of being judged then you start acting out of your character because you want to fit in because you want everybody to accept you and uh, you know before you know you are actually becoming a character in somebody else's story would you then rather not be your own protagonist in your own story so let's see how we can do it in the moment somebody is judging you before reacting or before hurting yourself if you just bring in that awareness and see it for what it is it will actually dissolve a lot of anxiety around it because like i said in the first half that it is not so much about you as it it is about the mental state of the other person because if they are actually basing that judgment out of an assumption uh, they don't know the whole story they don't know what your situation is so it that they're operating out of a huge uh, assumption because they don't have the bigger picture second of all they're vibrating out of a very low vibration or a low uh, uh, consciousness of of where they are so would you also want to lower your vibration and uh, act out of that fear or insecurity or anxiety or or pain or would you rather take that control back and tell yourself that i will not allow anybody to govern my emotions i want that steering to be in my hand like i said i want to be the hero or the protagonist of my own story so bring that into your awareness because the moment you see that for what it is uh, you know your first you are creating a slight detachment and you're not getting sucked into that situation second of all you are actually raising your vibration and you're not reacting you are actually choosing to take the high road see it for what it is so you are subconsciously raising your vibration the moment you raise your vibrations you are in a much better state to analyze it for what what it is and not get into the the fearful state or the state of anxiety or the or, or the state of pain then which actually starts governing your ac- actions then on so by just bringing that into your awareness uh, you know you are you are already positioning yourself where you know you are taking your control back you're not giving that power to anybody else because also like i said in a lot of ways um, it starts to define you it starts to start governing your actions if you let that fear uh, seep into you then 
subconsciously you you actually start behaving in a way that you want to be accepted that you know that that pressure of acceptance is is so it it plays so much in 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 your mind that you start to to behave according to what others see of you or what others perceive of you and in the process you start losing yourself and uh, so you know just uh, getting that into your awareness uh, it's going to help change the entire scenario because now you are looking into it in a very objective way and uh, you are not letting that fear govern your life you are not letting that fear and gradually when you when when you start detaching yourself and see it for what it is uh, it will stop bothering you you will realize after a period of time that it there's almost like a wall that has you know that is created around you in a very natural way that those judgments or those uh, comments they don't start uh, affecting your life it, it doesn't start affecting the way that you are and because you are now more into your own alignment of, of who you are as 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 a, as a person and you are governing out of your own steering wheel and you you are empowered now you are you are acting out of your own empowered zone rather than getting sucked into the in, in into the fear of you know where the ego takes over because now it is you your heart which is actually governing you i i hope it's it, it's making sense like share and subscribe and uh, till next time this is sonno signing off bye bye